up guys? Today I am with Adam Tobacco the He's, uh, You guys have been living under a rock for the last uh, year or so. Adam's a very popular YouTuber. In terms of YouTube vloggers, it doesn't get much bigger than Adam Tobacco, man. Holy crap. Thank you okay, for right. the very modest introduction. <laughs> you were in the star interviewed for uh, TV. What did you want to know? Just want to know if I was a YouTuber and I just said yeah. Pretty short interview then. Yeah. Uh, I actually wanted to talk about uh, this, this thing I've been reading in the news is crazy. Have you read what happened to Oprah? No, the thing in Zurich, right? The thing in Zurich. Okay, yeah. so I'm just going to give you the premise, right, for our viewers as well, right? Oprah, what, what she said was in the interview is that she asked to see a bag and the lady said, no, you don't want to see that bag, you can't afford it. And this is Oprah we're talking about, man. Yeah, man. If Oprah can't afford shit, nobody can. And she asked again, can I see it? And she's like, no, I don't want to embarrass you. And then Oprah walked out. Shop apparently said, that it was a misunderstanding, the shop girls, English is not her first language, it's just a huge big misunderstanding. The Switzerland uh, Tourism Board has apologized to Oprah, but I want to ask you, That's right. do you buy the story? Do you buy the story that it was a misunderstanding or do you believe Oprah? Basically Oprah thinks it's racism, do you think that it was racism? Huh, interesting, I think I think there's a bit more to the to do than just what's on the surface. Right, okay. I, I, this is, there's, Oprah's been in the spotlight for, for, for Okay. Decades now, right? right? So considering Forever. that, yeah. she 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 knows when she's in the spotlight, when she's put on the spot, and, right. and stuff she says is influential. I, I did a little bit of research, I digging up into that. When right. you did, uh, you mentioned a little bit about it, so I read a little bit about it right. to, uh, today as well. Yeah. Apparently, she's got a movie coming out. Soon. Really? Did you know that? No, I did not. Um, know that. It's it's a, it's a movie about black injustice. Right. So it could be a publicity stunt. Could I'm be, not right. exactly sure. It could be again with with how the media has blown it up. Right. It is likely to surface again in the next few days, but um, well, that would be a pretty nasty publicity stunt. I know. Yeah, the, the shop girl. She's being accused of being a racist now. Yes. So if it's a publicity stunt, it's a little cruel. Okay, I have so, no so, idea. So do you think that it actually happened? It was a misunderstanding, or it's a it's more towards a publicity stunt. That's it didn't happen exactly the way Oprah said it happened. Yeah, she, she did apologize for it in the end. Again, okay. though, it could have been a misunderstanding. Okay. But then again, with how fast news has traveled, right. the, the, the fact that it could be conspiracy against this whole right. publicity stunt is also there. Mm -hmm. Which one I choose to believe? Right. I'd like to pick the latter just because. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I Obviously, the only way for us to really know is for us to actually be there, right? Uh, absolutely. Take, my take is maybe more towards the other side in the sense of if you can't believe Oprah, who can you believe? But I don't know. But my take on it is that um, I don't know. I, I don't see. Maybe I, I did not know that she was making that movie. So up to that point, I did not see a reason for Oprah to make up the story. So therefore, yeah. I thought Oprah would probably tell you the truth. But now that you mentioned it, uh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. But uh, in general, stuff like this happens. So whether it actually happened to Oprah or not is up for debate. But in general, it does happen. I mean, I've gotten that. I, I like to walk around in my shorts and my slippers. And sometimes I walk into like expensive camera shops. And I, I, it's happened one time in Times Square. Uh, the guy basically, well, it's, a, it's a really long story, but to shorten it, he asked me if I needed help. And I said, actually say yes, but I just asked him some information. And he said, are you gonna buy the camera now? And I'm like, uh, no, not now. And he says, in that case, don't waste my time. That ever happened to you? Well, um, I did live in Australia for a bit. Right. So I remember one time I walked into a store mm -hmm. and I asked the question, I was like, hey, how much does this cost? Right. The response was like, oh, can't believe speak English no way. <laughs> I mean, we live in, in the 21st century, right, right, you know. Right. I didn't take offense or anything, but I didn't, it didn't strike a chord. They said, wow, you speak really good English. And then I was like, okay, thank you. But then again, <laughs> the people that are saying this to you are Australians. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, that's it for our vlog today. So uh, we're going to wrap it up. And tobacco, guys. Uh, and Shaz. In, Time and in between times, it's ciao for now.